New details now in a Target 12 investigators exclusive nowhere to go. In December, Target 12 revealed nearly two dozen children in DCYF care were stuck at Bradley Hospital. The state told us they were having trouble finding them placement. We found while there, those kids did not receive a formal education as required by law. In the wake of our report, major changes. Now those kids are getting daily lessons at the hospital. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the latest. As we told you in December, for several children in DCYF custody, the psychiatric hospital was their home for months, despite the program being designed to last only about 10 days. In December, 22 youth were living around the clock at Bradley Psychiatric Hospital. The state says they were having trouble finding them placement in group or foster homes because of the pandemic. The law requires school districts are to educate kids in the hospital, but Target 12 uncovered they weren't. Do you think that was sending to the kids, that was sending a message to them, no one cares about me? Yes. I do think that um, some of the kids do feel like that. They do, they do feel like that, that no one cares, that no one's advocating for them. Paul Shapit is a behavioral health specialist at Bradley Hospital. He says he raised concerns to DCYF officials at a meeting in July, but it went nowhere. So at that point, after the second meeting, I decided to make a move. And that was to contact you guys. Target 12's reporting found some school districts said they didn't know when a child had been admitted to Bradley. Now, changes. A new DCYF policy memo issued two weeks after our report requires DCYF immediately notify a school district when a child is admitted to Bradley Hospital. Every seven days, a caseworker must confirm kids are getting schooling. If they're not, the case is elevated to DCYF's Executive Legal Council for Action. And youth at the hospital are now now getting remote learning devices like Chromebooks to facilitate their learning. I think that, you know, what they're doing right now is something that's really, really special and really good. I think it needed to happen a long time ago. At a Senate education hearing last week, the interim head of DCYF told lawmakers the average length of stay for a DCYF youth at Bradley shot up from just over 34 days in 2019 to 56 days in 2020. But Shapit, who has worked at Bradley for years, says he is cynical of the excuse that the pandemic caused the kids to get stuck. Two years ago, before the, prior to the pandemic, this had been going on. So if the pandemic wasn't happened during that time and I had come out and said something about it, what would have the, the answer been then? There are signs that the length of stay is decreasing. DCYF says as of February 11th, 15 youth in their care are at Bradley, down from 22 in December. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.